Okay, we're going to start off with a shape award presentation. Would you like to talk about this, Mike? Daniel Balder. Or Daniel, Mike okay. At the podium. Yes. Yes. Good evening. My name is Mike LaPlante. Uh, I work for the Workplace Safety and Health Division of Maine Department of Labor. I've got my boss, Steve Greenling, the director of the Workplace Safety and Health Division, and our, both our bosses, Dan Bolduc, who's the head of uh, Maine Bureau of Labor Standards. So the reason we're here tonight is we have a program called SHAPE. It stands for Safety and Health Awards for Public Employers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, give you a little, little bit of background. Uh, we manage a program called SHARP, which is a federal program for federal um, uh, private employers. So we're not federal OSHA, um, but we, uh, we manage that program for them. Our previous uh, administrator, our previous boss years ago, said, look, we manage this program for private employers that are doing a great job with occupational safety and health. And so he started, at that time, Dave Wacker, started a program called SHAPE for the public sector. Because we're, you know, we're the ones that show up unannounced, and knock on the door and say, we're here to inspect. Hugely popular program. And uh, <laughs> just, it's just the way it is. Um, but we, we're going to places that um, get it. There's something different. There's a potential there. Uh, we're interested in protecting people. Uh, some of us are firefighters, so we're interested in protecting firefighters as much as anybody. But we started the SHAPE program. So in order to get into this SHAPE program, it's not easy. Somebody has to apply. They provide five years worth of injury logs, which we crunch. And we uh, compare to uh, all the fire department average in the state of Maine for their injuries. You're going to be at or below that injury level. Um, and if that's uh, in good shape, you have a survey that, uh, you know, is, this, is, is your, all your written programs done? Is all your training taken care of? Are your equipment inspections done? Uh, your facility walk? And if uh, all that survey looks good, we come in and we do a wall-to-wall -wall, uh, walk through all departments. Hopefully we don't find too much, and if we get to a point where we've got everything corrected, your injury rates were low, we get to come in and we give uh, a shape award out. Most of the time it's a single department in a town, um, but uh, lately um, it doesn't have to be. I think Winslow is now probably the 10th whole town as a whole employer, all departments to get into the shape program. Again, we don't give this out lightly. Since 2005, uh, we only have 90 employers in the state, so that's six or seven a year. It's a significant achievement. Um, before I pass things on, I have uh, that one passing on. Please. Thank you. So I'm passing out letters signed by the uh, Commissioner of Labor, John Butera, and the bosses on down through basically just covering some of the things we, we talk about. But we are here today because the town of Winslow has rece received this uh, shape status, and as long as you stay in the program, the enforcement people, unless something bad happens, stays away because we know you get it. And we know how much work is involved, and so that's what we're here for tonight is to give the city, it is a city, right, or is it town? Town. Excuse me, <laughs> town. We do a few of these, so. Track. So anyway, well, congratulations. Uh, as Mike mentioned, uh, my name's uh, Stephen Greeley. I'm the director of workplace safety and health at the at the Maine Department of Labor. And just uh, kind of picking up where where Mike kind of left off, uh, he he spoke a little bit about the the Sharp program, uh, which is a national program. Uh, there's about uh, it stands for the Safety and Health Achievement. Safety and Health Achievement. I do this right. Safety and Health Achievement Recognition Program, and uh, it's nationwide program. And right now, there's about 1,800 in the, the whole country, of which uh, I think we have 58 sharp sites in Maine. I say sites because uh, uh, we have some employers that have a couple of different sites that are uh, that are sharp. They're located in different cities, that type of thing. So they're a separate separate type piece. And for uh, for probably for about 10 years, it seemed like the SHAPE program was pretty much chasing the SHARP program because, again, you know, we had, uh, when you do the math, think about 1,800 and, and about 60 of them in, in the state of Maine. We had our, had our fair share, especially for a small state. 
And then about two years ago, uh, it seemed like uh, SHAPE caught the SHARP program and has kind of gone home right by, uh, you know, from the standpoint, as Mike mentioned, uh, I think it's up, you know, close to, close to 90 uh, shape, sh uh, SHAPE sites now. Uh, one other thing that, uh, that Mike mentioned was he mentioned about as far as um, uh, you guys being exempt from program inspections that on the doors he, uh, as he put it there. Um, the reason we can do that is because you do have your programs in place. You're not having the injuries. You're working with consultation. You're not the problem. Uh, you're you're the, the solution. Uh, so it's uh, from an enforcement standpoint, our time can be much better spent at a town that doesn't get it, that is having you know injuries, that doesn't have the programs in place, instead of say coming into a place like this and finding maybe one or two minor minor items. So uh, as Mike mentioned, uh, unless there's a complaint or a serious accident or something like that, you won't, you won't hear from uh, from enforcement. If they do happen to show up by mistake, tell them your shape and they'll they'll call back to the office, verify and, and they'll leave. Uh, but that's one of those things that we do tell uh, towns and stuff that only do that if you're, you're actually in the program because it doesn't really work if, uh, if you're not. Uh, but uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, I do want to, like I said, uh, uh, congratulate you because I know how much work uh, goes into it. And I want to be turning the, the mic over to, to Danny Bolduck, who's uh, my, my boss, uh, the director of uh, Bureau of Labor Standards, to actually say a few words and actually present you with a plaque. But congratulations. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Mike. As Steve said, I am Danny Bolduck. I'm from Waterville, and it's uh, nice to be back in the neighborhood again. <laughs> I am the very new uh, director of the Bureau of Labor Standards for the Department of Labor. I've been on the job for about four months. And previously, I was an insurance agency owner at the Higgins and Baldock Agency in Oakland. And before that, I was a professional hockey player with the Detroit Red Wings. That was good. That, that was good. This is better. This is better. <laughs> All of you, all of you in the room are to be commended for your efforts to attain SHAPE status. You survived the audits, you made the necessary safety adjustments, and now uh, all of your departments have made the statement that you care about safety, and you made safety a priority. Achieving the SHAPE certification demonstrates a willingness to be a leader in protecting your employees, and the general public. A willingness to put your departments out there as a model for, for success and a challenge for the other public entities in the state to step it up, get in there, do what you guys are doing. Promoting a culture of safety is infectious. Your departments are being recognized and commended for this impressive commitment. And so, on behalf of Governor Paul LePage, Commissioner John Butera, and the Maine Department of Labor, congratulations for a job well done. The town of Winslow, our newest shape location business. I would like to add one more thing. If you if you look at the bottom of the plaque, you're going to see all kinds of plates at the bottom. And uh, I always feel a little guilty when I do this part because I know how much work went into getting this award. But those plates at the bottom are for renewing uh, this, this award. So in two years, nothing would please us any more than to come back up here and give you a plate for the bottom. But, uh, but I always feel a little guilty because I feel like I'm moving the finish line because, you know, congratulations, celebrate tonight, but your work's just beginning because now 
now it's uh, time to, you know, maintain and stay in the program so that we can come back in two years. <laughs>